Hi, Gaz Williams here, and today we're going to look at the Machine Studio running inside of Logic Pro X and controlling it with an iPad Air running the Logic Controller. So the Logic Controller, the way it's working is it's passing through Logic and passing that MIDI information to the machine, as if we had a MIDI keyboard plugged in, that sort of thing. What we're going to do first now, we're going to, I'm just going to get stuff rolling. Let's get the, let's get the metronome on. And let's put a beat in.
scene three and then again like in scene one we're going to copy in our drums from pattern we're going to do we're going to duplicate let's duplicate them okay so in scene three elements out here our bongos again. Pattern three on bongos. Can we just keep these patterns nice and short so the video is not too long? Okay, and we'll just do a real simple bass line now. do now is I've got three scenes that I've pre-create that I've created in logic and I've just got them muted at the moment so I'm just going to unmute those and what those scenes are essentially as if we have a little look inside there it's just a MIDI clip with a single note now in the machine software if we click on this little uh, cog here and we choose MIDI note so now if we can look how logic now we've got a different arrangement so play scene one Essentially what, what we have to do is just make sure that 
these MIDI notes, they start at C minus two and chromatically going up, send a message to the machine to change scenes. So it would start scene one, scene two, scene three, etc. So I didn't have that set up correctly now, but now on the controller here, I can scrub. So as I'm pulling through here, now let's just make sure. So this now should be playing partway through scene two, going into scene three. Oops, <laughs> let's just skip it on a bit. Scene two. And now moving to scene three. Breakdown scene. of these different technologies working together. Okay, I'm Gaz Williams. Bye for now.